Okay. Another day is full. I have done some warm ups. You know, I did some just a couple of warm up sets for my rear delts. And they're already really fired up. You know, I think it's I think it's like my whole trap rear delt area is kind of like sore from yesterday's lateral races. But you know, yeah. It is not ideal, you know, that your traps or your rear delts get this sore from a workout that is not directly targeting it. But that means that they played a key role, like they played more of a role than you want them to, you know, in your lateral raises. I mean, it's okay. I'm gonna do some, like, Cable flies, just single hand for like about three sets, and then we can decide what we do from there. We might hop into some general upper back workout, we might do some sort of chest supported row, maybe some barber rows for the upper back, maybe some face pulls, maybe some dumbbell ski, ski, whatever things for your just to get some extra juice from the rear delts but I am thinking of like drop setting each set for this so I'm going to do three sets on one hand and then three sets on the other hand I hope for a good freaking contraction because you know it's already there
But uh, man, that, 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 that set just jam into some Beethoven, the Ninth Symphony in B minor. Oh, so good stuff. So, I'm like, I'm gonna do one more, one more of these. Just one more for my right hand. So, I don't know, I think, I don't think we can move on to the chest supported roll just because the necessary bench for that is taken. So, we're gonna move on to some different back movements. Probably some, maybe some upper back rows or some, honestly, some seated cable rows, but like doing them upper back focus sounds like a plan. We could try that for one set and see how it is. I'll try that for one set. If it's good, then I'll do that for like three sets and I'll show you guys. But if it's not good, then we're just we're gonna get a cut, a jump cut to a different kind of workout. Okay, so I did try. I tried the uh, cable rows for the, you know, like as long as you pull the bar or you pull the cables upwards while flaring your elbows out it doesn't matter which type of row it is it's gonna hit your upper back man and your rear delts and i did try them on the cables with the d handles and they felt awesome man they were good but i think i'm gonna do these chest supported rows just because as i was trying it out you know my one set well the guy who was using the bench that you know allows you to do a chest supported row was done he left so now i have the opportunity i'm going to do these, these chest supported rows for about three sets and then probably finish off the last two sets for my upper back on some seated cable rows and i'm going to try and burn out with some reverse flies on the cables you know like because you can pull like this with the cables and then you can also like pull like this you know like a sort of reverse fly of some sort but, uh, let's get the set going of course i'm gonna have to put the hat in speed mode actually no 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 i think i won't have to i think it's gonna be just okay You know, I noticed the thing that this substitutes from the normal, like doing the barbell rows, you know, without the chest support, just doing them while bent over and, you know, pushing it upwards, is that this removes as much cheating as possible, but it also sacrifices some range of motion. Because, you know, you can't really, with, when you're doing it bent over without the, without the bench, you can pull, you can push the bar all the way to your chest, you know. But on this one, you can't really push it all the way to your chest because there's a freaking bench, you know, stopping you from doing that. So there is some range of motion. 
you know, removed. But it does eliminate like a lot of cheating that your body may, you know, unknowingly do while you're doing the barber rows without the, without the without the bench for the support. But all in all, man, it's a fantastic workout, man. Good for your upper back. I'm thinking, should I do the last two sets as face pulls instead? But I've been doing face pulls so so much. I need to, I want to try something. I've never tried the seated cable rows for the upper back. I want to see how they are. Because I know we'll do the face pulls again on the next pull day. So. I mean, they are a staple for me. They are pretty good. But right, let's move on to the next set. Oh. Okay, so we can move on to some lats, man. Probably, honestly, I have no, no idea what I will do for the lats, but I know it's going to be some lat pull downs and something else. <laughs> okay, so I know that I said. Let's move on to the lats. But I just remembered, I'm not done with the upper back. After the chest supported, you know, rows, I was gonna do, finish off with two sets of some seated cable rows, upper back focused. Completely slipped my mind. But after this, we'll cut to the lats.
Dakota. Oh, wow. So now, now we can move on to the last. What am I going to do for the last? I don't know. But let's start with three sets. Maybe actually let's try some pull-ups. Let's see how those will be. Okay, so that. We're going to open with some one-arm high cable rows. Just because I was thinking of opening up with some pull-ups. But the area is kind of busy right now, so... I'm going to start with these one-arm rows for probably three sets, one-arm, three sets, no, 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 probably two sets. And then we'll hop on to the pull-up station for about three sets and then close off with some lap pull-downs for about three sets. I don't know, man. I've been, I, I just keep seeing comments on Instagram on fitness posts that pull-ups or what grow your back so i mean i wasn't i wasn't strong enough before to do them but hopefully now i'm strong enough to carry my weight you know but yeah even if it's like five reps it's something it's something worth trying so yeah let's get let's get started Oh my days. Oh yeah. Those are good. So perfect time. The pull-up station is free. 
So let's go do some three sets of some pull-ups. Yeah, those were about like those were about oh, six. But I'm sure by the end of the by the end of the year, those are gonna double. Actually, no, no, triple in a controlled form as well. As you get stronger, which is actually a dramatic improvement because I could before I couldn't even do one, so that is something. This is gonna be like probably two more, yeah, two more of those. Oh, actually, not two more. I think I'm just gonna do one more. Well, let's let's wait and see if the next one is gonna be under five reps and then I'm, I'm just gonna move on to the pull downs I mean it was okay but I don't yeah I think we're, we're gonna have to wait a bit more you know get get a, get a little bit stronger before we attempt those again so probably in a couple of months in a couple of months we'll come back to the pull-up station on the Smith machine and try that again so but for now we're just gonna have to do pull downs instead of pull ups for the lats for the back okay so I should about three sets of some lap pull downs and then I'm thinking of doing one just one set one set of some metal rows and finish off the back and we move on to the biceps <laughs> Oh man. Oh, those are these are good. So one more. So let's move on to some uh meadow rows and finish off the back.
Huh. Okay. Oh, so the back is done. Eight sets of the back finished. So I can move on to some bicep work. Probably some probably some incline curls and some hammer curls. Okay, so Ooh. I'm gonna hit some incline curls and then you know it's obviously not it's not a bicep workout if you're not gonna include some burnouts you know at least that's for me so I'm gonna do some uh, incline uh, dumbbell curls and then I'm gonna burn out with some strict strict style easy bar curls you know when you're up against the wall but yeah Okay, so I'm gonna spam those for about six sets so we can move on to some. Uh, well, I'll just keep doing that, but I'm just gonna do the exact same thing because I need to see all of it. Just the exact same thing for about six sets so we can move on. For the last two sets, we'll finish off with some rope hammer curls.
Oh man. Okay. So we can we can end it there. Probably see you guys tomorrow for legs. Oh, legs, man. But yeah, let me get out of here, bro. I still have, of course, I'm gonna do my cardio, which I hope all of you are doing. And it's not just like it doesn't matter whether you're trying to be fit or not. Like it's just a healthy thing, man. It's just a good thing to do for your for your body, for your whole body, you know? Like, I'm not saying that you have to go to the gym and work out. I'm not saying that you have to diet or anything. I'm just saying, just some nice low intensity cardio for 30 minutes. It won't hurt you, man. You literally will not feel it. You'll be sweating, but you will not be feeling the fatigue or, or like the pain that cardio gives you. Because it's low intensity, you know? You could go outside, have a, you could hike, you could walk, but let's say if you don't have, if you don't have any like place that has an elevation next to you, you could just take a nice good walk, you know, like a power walk, not just walking, but like a nice power walk. You could, if you have access to a gym, you could come to, a, to, to the treadmill. Walk at a nice medium pace of around like five, six feet. Just find which, whichever speed is your medium pace. Crank up the, the the incline to the highest level, and just do that for thirty minutes. You literally will not feel it, bro. It's so simple, so easy. Just for thirty minutes, you could head on to the to the spin bike. You could head, you could head on to the speed to the bike. Just jog, just ride it at a medium pace. Not really like high intensity, bro. Nah, 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 you don't need to do that. But if you want to do high intensity, you can do high intensity. Granted, I don't think you can do it for 30 minutes. Probably like 15, 10, I don't know. Whichever is your preference, man. But yeah, so I have class at around 6 to 8 p.m. today. So I'd like to get home early in time for that. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow for legs.